That's right. I did it. What you are looking at right now is the brand new, one of a kind, Magic Pen version 2. Just look at it. It's beautiful. It's prestigious. It is not going to make me draw any better, but it's going to allow me to draw. This is the old Magic Pen. Not quite sure what happened to it. Like, how did that even happen? The electrics are exposed. There's no tip. I ruined it. So this one's officially dead and has been replaced by the brand new Magic Pen. And it is insane. I've been inspired by all of your drawings recently, especially on the Among the Sleep series. And I just felt like drawing again because you guys love the Magic Pen so much. You gave so many likes on the previous one. I thought I'd sit down, buy a new Magic Pen and tablet. I told you I was getting serious about this. Look at the size of this thing. And I'd sit down and draw what you want me to draw. So this is my Twitter right here. And I tweeted, want to draw. What should I draw? Now I'm gonna look through and see what you guys want me to draw. <laughs> Cause I need to warm this bad boy up. Loads of people want me to draw pugs. Now the problem with that is I'm not very good at drawing pugs. Regardless of how much time I spend with them, I'm just not good at drawing them. I don't know why. See? What is that? <laughs> oh, actually, I know I posted this tweet, but I've just had a really good idea. I'm gonna do the Dan TDM drawing challenge. Okay, so if you don't know what this is, I will search it. We're doing the 30 day drawing Dan challenge. I think that's right. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Look. So this is a challenge that you guys have been doing for the past 30 days. And I think it ended two days ago. I mentioned it in my birthday video a couple of weeks ago and it has some certain rules. So I'm going to go through some of these and also try and do my own. I'm going to pick three days and try and do them. I think this would be fun. Okay, so here are the days. Here are the rules. This is what you've been doing over the 30 days of November. I just need to pick some. Okay, first one I'm going to pick is Dan in a dinosaur onesie. Let's do this. I'm taking this seriously. Seriously, guys, I'm doing what some of you guys do normally and you do like a light blue sketch in the background just to get it right Which is really cool. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, there's my mannequin guy And now I need to draw over the top in a different color to get this right. I think this is gonna be cool So I need to draw a dinosaur onesie. I'm gonna go for a big hood over the top and it's also gonna have teeth coming down as well I think that'll look pretty cool. So it's like my head is in his mouth <laughs> Then we're also gonna add big eyes on the top as well So it's kind of gonna be like a, a monster and a dinosaur in one check this out <laughs> It might even accidentally look like a frog, but we'll see what happens nostrils of course there we go. Okay, this is coming together. It's gonna be like a full-on bodysuit, so we need to make sure they're all attaches together. <laughs> this is gonna be weird. I just need to rub something out because I've done this bit wrong. I kind of messed it up a little bit, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. I am also gonna put a big old tail on there as well, which is, of course, gonna have spikes on it. Yes? I need to fix this. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now I need to make sure it zips up. So it's gonna have a zip down the middle. Now I need to do details. So I need... What do I need? Before I do the color, I'm gonna add like a little kind of thumbs and fingers just because I think it'll look funny. <laughs> the eyes, of course. There we go. And then I guess the head's gonna come in like this way. Big mouth. And I think we need to color this bad boy now. It's looking good. What does it look like without the guidelines? That's not so bad. I need to add the hairline because otherwise I'm going to be bold, which isn't a terrible thing. But if you're looking at my hair right now, it's not bold, is it? I kind of want to add a zip as well, but I don't really know how to draw them. I guess that'll do. I want to add some other bits as well. I'm going to add some toes because dinosaurs have toes. There we go. Tail detail as well, just like this. I guess I need to make sure he actually has like a defining teeth section. <laughs> I don't know what style I went with here, but I actually kind of like it. Right, let's do some colors. This green is actually perfect. It's so dinosaur. Okay, I'm adding some yellow bits now because I think that just matches the green so well. Color in the face. Yeah, color in done. I'm not sure what to do about the top bits of eyes because I didn't leave enough green, but you know what? It's fine for now. Let's shade this. Dare I say, it, guys? I think I'm done. I've got the shading, I've got the colors, and I still have two more to do. So I think this guy is done so far. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys would have shown me up, but that is my entry for um 30 day Dan challenge. For Dan in a dinosaur onesie. <laughs> Let me see. I'm I'm just looking through to see what other ones there are. There's this one. That's super cool. <laughs> is this the Dan as a chicken? I need to do that one next. All of these are just just incredible though. I mean, look at these. They're insane. Oh, look at that one. That's so good. It's even got the little dinosaur blowing flames. 
That's mad. And this one too. <laughs> it's got Julie in my hand. No way. Right. Time to draw Dan as a chicken. This is what I'm going to use as my guide. Uh, <laughs> I think I need to add some hair on. So maybe like this and it'll make more sense when I color it. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's draw this properly. I definitely went with the crazy looking chicken look. This is going to be... This is going to be a masterpiece. I don't know why, but I really want to be like a super angry chicken. I... <laughs> this is going to be great. I forgot to put the belly on the dinosaur. I've just remembered. So I'm going to draw this one in. So I actually remember how to do it. I'm going to draw an egg as well, just because I want to be popping out a little egg. Might do another egg up here as well. It might be a really cool background to have. I didn't think of backgrounds last time. Now, what color do I do a chicken? Chickens are normally like white, but I kind of guess I could do like a light blue chicken. Let's do that. This looks just like, this just looks crazy, especially with the light blue and the animu eyes. I actually quite like this. I, I thought of the perfect background to add as well. I can't believe I didn't add a background before. Okay, so it's fully colored. I just need to do some details. I don't really know what details to add. I need to make the, actually, I need to make the, um, the, the eggs a diamond color. That'll kind of do. I kind of want to do like some kind of shine around the outside as well. It will look good, I promise. It'll look really good. Shading's going on. Um, <laughs> this has got to be one of my favorites. I mean, I've only drawn two, but you know what I mean. My favorite ones that I've drawn with the magic pen. Me as a chicken, looking pretty anime. I just need to add like a really cool background and you'll understand how crazy this is gonna look. I'm actually gonna do highlights on the eggs just so they look super cool. I put a six in that for some reason. I don't know why, but I tried to do a little swirl. There we go, look, diamond chicken eggs from your man, Dan TDM. <laughs> Guys, I actually think that's done. <laughs> I just need to add the background. I'll show you. Let's get a big brush up in here. Hello? Hello, is it doing the brush? Oh, that's weird. There we go, perfect. Oh no, look at the eyes. I forgot to color the eyes in. There we go, that's a little bit better. It's a little less freaky. Well, is it? It's kind of the same amount of freaky. I don't know why that happened like that, but that looks pretty cool to me. It's like delayed. It's so weird, but I did like a sunburst in the background. That looks insane. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. I think I make it one better. Slightly darker in the middle. And this, this is a, this is a masterpiece. Absolute masterpiece. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Oh, I've created the greatest thing ever. That's me as an angry chicken with a pretty crazy background. Uh, right, let's see what you guys created. There's me as a Minecraft chicken. I like that. <laughs> okay, this isn't the chicken version, but it's a baby me with the tattoos as well. He's pointing at them. He's like so proud. Whoa, is that me as a scientist? That's awesome. I love the style and the crown as well. <laughs> There's me as a chicken. I like that. Similar to mine, but a little less crazy. <laughs> Is that me as a unicorn? That's mad. Whoa, that's bendy. That's so nice. I love that. That's cool too. <laughs> Whoa, is that me as a rapper? Oh my goodness, that's that's amazing. Now that's me as a chicken. Dan's fan draws, who I think actually created this challenge. That's awesome. And look how dedicated they are. They did every single day. I need to pick one more. Um, I'm gonna do Dan as a cuphead. Not just as a cuphead as a cup. Let's just put the chicken away. So I'm talking like a big old mug. My version of Cuphead and Mug Man. I'm gonna do it really quick because I don't know how long we've got left of the video. <laughs> this already looks crazily derpy. Like, <laughs> it was not how I expected it to look. I've only just realized as well, why does Mug Man and Cuphead have a straw coming out of them? Are there many people that drink from a mug or a cup with a straw? Like a coffee mug, not not like a normal glass. Anyway, I need to add in the hair as well, but I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it with the, the cup in the background. I think this kind of works. All right, here's the concept. Let's get drawing. I, think I might actually need to draw the hair first because it kind of takes over everything else. It takes over the entire mug, guys. I actually kind of like this, like this little lip bit here. So it looks like the edge of my real life lip. That's cool and completely done by accident. Also, don't ask me why, but I've decided to go for like SpongeBob knobbly knees. <laughs> I have no idea why. I just think it looks cool. I actually don't know what else to add to this. It's like, I'm gonna add some stripes to the straw, of course, but <laughs> what else do I add to me as a mug? Um, <laughs> I feel like maybe like glasses or, oh, an eye patch. 
I have no idea why. I think one of the drawing challenges were um, was a pirate as well. I was going to do glasses, but um, I changed my mind to an eye patch. That looks cool. All right, let's start coloring this bad boy. I need to think of a background for this as well because I don't quite have one in mind. As with the chicken, I'm going to go for a light blue colored mug. The straw can be in pink and I don't know what other color to use. Let's find one. White actually doesn't look too bad by itself. Um... <laughs> I don't know what color to do my knobbly knees. I guess just in the blue color, right? Actually, maybe we should be wearing some kind of shorts instead. Let me give that a go. With little hearts on. Definitely. Look at those. Oh my goodness. This is perfect. <laughs> I'm actually going to do the opposite of shading on this one just because the cup is a different kind of color. Doesn't really need that much, to be honest. Let's try lighting up the hair too. Yeah, that looks much better. I like that. I could do both, but I think like shading and lighting is going to be... Kind of weird at once. Bit of shading on the eye patch. Looking good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go simple on a background for this one. This one's just gonna be a straight up beach. Lots of sand, big old sea, and some waves. Like really, really shabby waves. I've also just realized I've been using the pencil tool this whole time. That's why the lines don't look smooth. But hey, I think we're good here. <laughs> By the way, it's even incredible that this event just exists. There's 2,425 posts in this challenge, which is crazy because it was all created by you guys. You guys came together as a community on Instagram to make this awesome challenge happen. So I thought I'd get involved and show off a few of your drawings as well because there's 2000 of them and they're absolutely incredible. All of these, all of these, they're absolutely amazing. Thanks for taking time out of your day, out of your month <laughs> to be able to create these. It's a joy to look through. First of all though, let's take a look at my entries. We have Dan in a dinosaur onesie, which I think is pretty cool. Wish I chose a background for this and actually did the belly, but you know, it's fine. Then my second favorite is gonna have to go to the cup. <laughs> it was supposed to be Dan TDM as Cuphead, but I just drew myself as a mug with shorts and an eye patch. I mean, it's pretty cool. And then finally, we have my favorite one. The chicken. <laughs> this is just, I don't know why. It just works so well with the colors, the style and everything. <laughs> I hope you like it too. So guys, that is it. That is the Magic Pen version two taken out for a spin. And I think that was awesome. If you enjoyed this, then please leave a big fat like. If you want to see some more as well, leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if that's to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDN today for daily videos. Apart from that, guys, thank you again so much for watching. You are the best. Have an amazing day and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>